Hey everyone, welcome back to The Economist. If you've been using FluxDev and ComfyUI to generate human characters, you've probably noticed that while the prompt adherence is fantastic, there's a bit of a problem with the skin texture. It tends to look a bit too plastic and artificial, right? Well, I've got a solution for you. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through a workflow that automatically detects the skin and makes it look much more realistic and natural, bringing out the true beauty of your creations. Before we jump in, if you're excited to level up your AI image generation skills, make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button to help us beat the algorithm. Let's dive in. In the first part of this workflow, we're starting with our basic Flux setup. I'm using the quantized Flux GG UFQ8 model since I have an RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It works perfectly for this setup. If you're unsure which Flux model suits your graphics card, check out my previous video on that topic. I've also used a parallel processing technique, loading clip on the CPU and the VAE on the GPU. These nodes are from the Extra Models Custom Node Pack, so feel free to give them a try if you're interested. For this example, I'm using a LoRa I trained for my AI character Boney, a redhead digital model. The positive prompt is straightforward. Portrait of a woman wearing a white tank top. As for the image resolution, I'm going with 1408 by 1408, which is a supported flux resolution, giving us a 2 megapixel image. You can find all supported resolutions in the link in the description. For the case sampler, I'm using Hewn Beta as the sampler method. Here's our initial output from Flux. It looks good, but the skin still has that plastic feel, so we need to make some improvements. Let's move on to the second group of nodes. You have two options here. You can either load an SD 1.5 model like Epic Realism, or go with an SD XL model like Epic Realism XL. I'm choosing the XL model because it allows us to use an extra LoRa that will help make the skin look more natural. The LoRa's I'm using are Real Human Public Prompt and More Details. You can copy my weights or tweak them to suit your preferences. To detect and mask only the skin area, we're using Person Mask Ultra 5 2 from Layer Styles Custom Nodes. Make sure you have this installed and download the required models. For the positive and negative prompts, I've added keywords focusing on skin details such as natural skin imperfections and skin pores. When setting up the case sampler, make sure to select checkpoint model parameters and use a lower denoise strength around 0.25 or 0.3. Once you run this second group of nodes, you'll see an improved version of your Flux image. As you can see, the skin now looks much more natural with visible pores and imperfections, which greatly enhances realism. But we're not done yet. There's a third group of nodes to cover. Since we're running an image-to-image -image process from Flux to SDXL with a denoise strength of 0.3, some of your character's features might be affected, and we'll need to recover those details. We'll do this using a group of nodes from Comfy UI Face Parsing. Make sure you have these custom nodes installed from the Node Manager. With Face Parser, you can select the elements you want to retain from the original Flux image, such as the eyes since Flux handles pupils well, and also let's bring back the lips, which might have changed during the SDXL skin enhancement. This way, we can bring those features back. Here's the final result. As you can see, there's a significant improvement in the skin texture, no more plastic look. Plus, we've preserved the eyes and lips ensuring our character stays consistent. Let's talk about the processing time. For a 24GB VRAM card, it took about 4 minutes to generate a 1408 by 1408 image. I use the quantized Flux version Q8 and force the clip to run on the CPU. If you have limited GPU power, you can first generate the flux images, then run the enhancement and parsing groups separately, or use a bulk technique to make things more efficient. That 
That's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You can follow along and copy this workflow directly from the video. Or if you want to download all the necessary files, prompts, and workflows, consider subscribing to my membership through the link below. You'll gain access to all past and future resources, plus direct support from me if you need any help. Also, for beginners, I've extended the 40% off offer on my AI digital model course using Comfy UI. This course will guide you step by step from installation to creating your first AI digital model. Make sure to check it out in the link below. See you in the next tutorial.